Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. So I, I was up bored last night, so I hopped on and I did a lot of busy work. Uh, let me show you what I did off camera. All right, you see right there, those are the two sheds. I moved them up into the forest. I love where these sheds are. I like the way they look from far away, too. Like, it's really cool. Like, you know, um, these woodworking sheds, places where people will be chopping down trees and processing wood. Um, it would make sense to be a lot of trees around, and that is a great spot for it. And down here, right over here, um, these are where the wood sheds used to be. And I replaced them with a house. Um, it was over here. No, it was right here. It was right here. So I went ahead and replaced those wood sheds with a house. So let's take a look at it from birds from a satellite view. <laughs> All right. We got a nice, nice residential area here with a resource building in there to mix. We've got a resource building over here as well. The original resource building over here, I did upgrade it because I ran out of space. Okay. Um, what else did I... Oh, yeah. Let me show you this really quick. Uh, this isn't for today's video, but just for a future... I get really lost in my, my own town at this point. Um, anyway, just for my own uh, just for my own video for the future episode, um, I went ahead and set up a sheep, a sheep pen, a fold. All right. I've got the fence all the way around it. We're not going to be building that today, but I can almost guarantee you that's going to be next video. I mean, I change my mind all the time, but as of right now, that is going to be my next video. I need to get some... Um, some sheep in here. That's for damn sure. Uh, what else did I do? I recruited a few more people. So there's my management tab. Um, I got them sorted by mood. They're all, you know, relatively happy, which is good. Uh, I turned on potage eating. So um, I, my food demand was kind of a problem. And I didn't realize or I didn't remember that um, potage was turned off. So um, I turned on the ability for them to eat potage. And now they have a lot more food, which is just phenomenal. Um, I did go mining. Um, I really, really want to get um, this technology, uh, the building technology to 5,000. Once it gets to 5,000, everything's going to open up for me because of the mining. I was running out of knives. I was running out of picks. It was just so irritating. So I went ahead and I made 10 bronze picks or bronze knives, which have 450 durability as compared to the 50 durability of the stone knives. And then I went ahead and made 30 more stone knives. I'm like, I'm so irritated. I'm just like, I keep running out of shit and it's really pissing me off. Um, and that's going to really change, hopefully, once the mine opens up, because I'll be able to mine, um, I think I'll be able to make, mine iron, and I'll start making iron tools, I, I think. So, let's take a look in here and see, see what kind of tools we do have. 18 simple bags, that's needed. 15 fishing spears, that's cool. Um, stone axes are looking okay. Stone hose are okay. 40 stone knives. <laughs> yeah, boy. You got stone knives for days, people. Um, what else? Wooden hammers, shovels, things of that nature. So, that is just... Awesome. And I already mentioned I upgraded my storage house because, like I said, I was really running out of room in here. So we've got a total of 5,000 storage. And guess what? That's probably not going to be enough either. So we've got a lot of stuff to do today. The focus of today's video is going to be a little sitting area over here. All right. I want to make a sitting area. I want to make another storage place. I want to upgrade the barn and maybe get to some decorations. We'll see how that goes. I think the first thing we're going to do, though, is come over here and start on the sitting area. And in order to do that, we're going to have to make a stone campfire first. So we're going to need firewood and stone. Um, what else am I going to want to make for decorations? Probably some tables. Um, now a regular table. So we're going to unlock that. Planks, logs. Uh, what else? Tables, seats, uh, lighting. We can't make these lighting this lighting yet. Because Wait a minute. Oh, I can't make the lighting because I own the technology. It's weird. I thought, I thought the things that was going to make me not be able to make these lanterns is iron. But you don't use iron for lanterns? It seems kind of weird. We do use wool thread. We got to get those sheep. Next video, for sure. Um, standing torches, linen fabric, linen thread, stones. Okay. Probably going to want some standing torches. You know what? I'm just going to take a little bit of everything because it seems like we're going to need a lot of different resources here. So let's go ahead and grab everything we can. I have no idea how this is going to work. Um, can you put this stuff down on roads? I don't think you can. No, I see you can't. I was thinking about using these roads to like plow the land or whatever, but... That's not going to work. I've seen people like build on top of like uh, like areas that looked like they were roads and they like used it to get rid of all the bushes and stuff, but I'm not really sure how they did it. They, they didn't do it with the farm, did they? I don't think so. No, I don't, I don't think so. Honestly, I'm not really sure how they did it. Um, You know, we'll see. Maybe someone will let me know in the comments. All right. So let's go ahead and go to fires. And this is going to be the centerpiece. For this whole thing. I also like the fact that it's, that it's near the kitchen. That makes a lot of sense to me. 
Um, it looks that doesn't look like a giant fire. I was hoping like a giant fire. I think that's the biggest fire I can make out here, though. Um, so it is what it is. Okay, and then we'll make some tables around it or next to it. Yeah, I don't know about tables. I, I, I think chairs around the fire and then tables in other places. So let's see what kind of what kind of chairs we can make. Um, oh, these all look. None of these chairs have backs. Can I make any chairs with backs? I feel like I should be able to. But I'm not seeing any. All right. Well, that's a bench. Go ahead and unlock that. That's a long bench. Unlock that. Wooden stool. Okay. How big is the bench? Oh wait. So the bench does have a back. Okay. Um. I don't think I want that. I do want to use backs, benches with backs, but not for the fire. All right, so these benches actually don't have backs to them. Uh, they just look like they do because it shows you where the people will, like, sit. So um, let's just put one more on this side. So you, you look right here. The uh, See how it's got two people there? I thought that was, like, backs. But it's not. All right, there we go. All right, so now how about... Um, what else would we like around here? What's miscellaneous? So we got the wash tub, um, archery thing, scarecrow. Uh, we got some flower pot. Are those flower pots? Oh, flower pots. Do they actually take flowers? No. So maybe you have to put flowers in them after the fact. That's kind of what I'm thinking. All right. So then let's put down some tables. Uh, we're going to need some more planks. I am so encumbered here. Uh, let's grab some planks. I'm going to wait until it's nighttime to put down the torches because you never know exactly how much light you need until it's like, you know, until it's properly dark, right? So let's go ahead and look for some planks. 14 sounds good. I'm going to lighten my load a little bit here. There we go. And let's go ahead and put, some, put down some tables. So that's just like a basic sitting area. All right. And then I'm going to put some tables over here. Uh, maybe even like a couple against this would be pretty cool. I don't like the way that ground isn't level, but you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? That's uh, living in old timey times. All right. And then we're going to need some chairs for those. Actually, let's just put down more tables. Damn it. Freaking planks and logs. All right. Let me, let me go through and actually see what I want to build and organize myself so I can carry what I need and not be encumbered. All right. That should work. I am actually going to put down chairs on this first. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'll put these little um, seats down there. I guess I got to turn them around. Uh, place, cancel, rotate. There we go. Oh, wow. You really got to put them far away. What the hell? <laughs> that sucks. So do I want people to actually be able to sit in these seats or not? Because if I don't want them to sit in the seats, I could put the seats facing this way. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, ugh, that's really way far out. Um, if they sit in the seats, it'll look cool if they could sit in the seats. But if I turn the seats around, I could put them closer to the table. I think I'm going to put it where they can sit in the seats. It's just, ugh. All right, fair enough. Man, that's way out there. But now you could like, use it. See? Now you could like, sit there. So I guess it looks cool. And I think the people will, how do I get out of it? <laughs> I'm pressing E. Stand up is, what the hell is that? Is that like a backslash or something? I don't know what the hell that is. You have to hold it down. Yeah, back, like forward slash, backslash, some kind of slash button to get up. Why can't I just press escape? <laughs> right, fair enough. All right, so let's put down a couple more of the, why can't you just remember the rotation? Well, maybe it will if I don't like take it out of the rotation. I think people will actually sit down in these chairs as well. Which is why I'm I'm having them face the right way. Uh, here, let's do it from over here. Might be easier. That way I don't have to rotate it. Is there a button to press to keep the ghost image up? M maybe. Alright, there we go. Alright, cool. Now I'm going to want some table... Nah, this isn't really a lot of room here. I was going to put some tables here, like, at, like just in this walkway. But I don't think that's going to be a good idea. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to take this and we are going to... Hmm. No, I think right here would be better. And then we'll go like this. All right. Just like that. And then like this. 
All right, it looks okay, I guess. Yeah, sure, why not? And then we will come right here and have this going like that. Um, like that, and then like this. All right, uh, maybe just, yeah, this is where you put all the dirt, like, stuff. And then I'm thinking, like, maybe some, um, some tables on this side or something. How big do we want this to be? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So now what we'll do is we'll put these tables over here. And do we want them like that, or do we want them like this? I think I kind of want them like this. I just wish I could keep them up there. I know there's a button for it. Someone will let me know. Three tables? Sure, why not? How about six tables? Might be a little close to the fire pit, but that's okay. All right, we need more planks. Check this out, people. They're actually sitting down in this area. I'm kind of messing around with the roads, too. Uh, you can kind of put the roads where you need them to be. Uh, you just kind of want to do it after the fact, after you put down all this stuff. So let's go ahead and finish putting down the seats. All right, get them as close as we can. All right, and two more seats. And then we're done with the major parts of this. Just uh, I want some kind of fence around it, I think. Um, this one's giving me a little trouble. Hmm. Obstacles are blocking, but what obstacle? There we go. All right, good enough. It's a little tricky putting these down properly, but. Okay. And now that looks good. I think this is a good time to put up the lighting. So let's go ahead and do that now. Um, we need to unlock this. Man, maybe I'll just hold off on the lighting. I really don't want to put up standing torches, waste linen on it, and then have to take them down very pretty quickly once I want to put these up. So I'm actually going to hold off on the lighting. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. All right, so what kind of fence would I want? None of this, like, waddle fencing. I like waddle fencing for barns. And farm type areas, but not for this kind of stuff. Um, wood fencing wouldn't be a bad idea. The log fencing is really kind of large and... I don't know. Um, I guess wood fencing is probably the way to go. I'm thinking I'm going to save stone fencing for houses. Waddle for farming things. And probably regular fencing for everything else. The log fencing is pretty cool, but it's it's too high. It would be better if it, was, if it wasn't so high. Alright, so we're going to do that. And let's see how we want to do this fencing. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a little bit of time here, and remove all of the uh, uh, repair, build, destroy. We're going to remove all the all the walkways and stuff. I'd rather I'd rather deal with the the, the roads when it's not winter because you can't really tell where the foliage is going to be during the winter. It's a little bit easier to do that um, when it's not winter. Uh, and plus, I'll, I want to put down the fencing before I do anything with this. Uh, with the roads and plus i'm gonna go to sleep now if you go to sleep um in a season change uh, a couple weird things will happen number one if you're out in the world and you're sleeping in a fire you will respawn at your bed so like if i was like say mining up here and the season was going to change i could just put down a campfire sleep and then i would just teleport over here in the morning um the second thing that happens when you go to sleep is you get all your food and drink back so um i make a point not to not to eat or drink before uh, i'm gonna go to bed before a season change all right, let's go ahead and uh, go to sleep. Actually, I'm just going to camp out at one of these houses. <laughs> There's no point in going all the way home where I can just sleep, whatever. Although, with a season change, watch. It'll teleport me back to my home. Watch. And we're back home. <laughs> Who knew they had teleportation in uh, medieval times? So I went ahead and paid my taxes. The taxes were almost 7,000 coin. Oh boy. So one thing that's been raising my taxes is I've been building houses and not putting people in them. Um, now your taxes aren't cheaper if people live there, but at least you're getting the production out of them. I've also been trying not to put people together because I don't want them having babies, but that's inefficient with houses because, you know, then you have to have two houses for two people instead of two one house for two people. So I, I've started uh, recruiting more people. I, I'm putting them to work and this place is looking great. I did move the fire over a little bit and I think now we're going to go ahead and put the wooden fence in here. And I think I have an idea on how I want the wooden fence to go. So let's just uh, kind of see what we can do here. All right. And it's going to be connected right there. All right. And it's going to come down here. Lined up with that. How far? Eh, I don't know. 
I guess about that far. It doesn't need to, it doesn't need to go far, but I do want it to be lined up with this um, as you know pretty well. All right, there we go, and then we'll come over here, and this is only going to come out a little bit. All right, and that's going to be it for that, and then we are going to start the fence again right here. Yeah, right about there. Looks pretty good. And then, uh, yeah, this is going to be a little tough because I'm trying to get it lined up on two angles. And that is kind of a problem. So I'm thinking right about here would probably be pretty good. So I'll put that right there. And then we want to end it right about here. So now we look on this side and I'm just going to let it go. If it's not lined up perfectly, to hell with it. Because this is why stuff never gets done with me because I'm so freaking ridiculously... Just want everything to be perfect, so the hell with it. Uh, we're going to do that right there. I can go right there. And then this can come over to about right here. Uh, that looks pretty good to me. And then this will come over here. Alright, and we want that to be lined up right about there. So I'm thinking that looks pretty good. And then this will come over. And we kind of want this to line up a little bit with the spot over on the other side. So that looks really good. And sure. And then we do another one right here. Again, kind of... Alright, I will redo this one. This one came out pretty messed up. So I will redo this one. But normally I'm going to let this stuff go. But that was that's a little too much even for me. Uh, so what we have to do is we have to bring out the hammer so we can see all the images. And then we line this up starting right here. Okay, and then we bring it over to about here. Alright, right about there. Okay, and then we destroy this. And this. This might be a bit of a problem. Let's see how this goes. All right, this place is uh, turning out really nice. Um, I mentioned earlier I'm not going to be doing the lights right now because you know I don't have the I don't have the lights I want, so um, we will leave that be. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can do anything to get rid of the ground issues. Um, at least put like walkways through here, all the way down to the water. All right, um, that yeah, looks pretty good to me. Yes, I like that a lot. Yes, sir. Yeah, this place is coming out really nice. I've built like stuff like this in the past, but I tend to go overboard. I tend to go overboard, and sometimes less is more. You know what I mean? So, I'm really happy with the way this is coming out. It's 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 really nice in its simplicity. There we go. Beautiful. Now let's see if we can get rid of some more roads in here. I'm going to get rid of as much of the foliage as I possibly can. Um, I've never, like, went out of my way to get rid of foliage before. So I'm not really sure how this is how this works. Alright, so that goes red. So we can't do anything with that. We could do that. And then... Uh, no. No, 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 no. I don't think that's going to get rid of it all. No, actually it does. Okay, cool. This is exactly what I saw... In other pictures of the game that I really wanted to do. And I never thought of it. But yeah, I mean, like, just get rid of this stupid foliage. F Mother Nature. <laughs> it's my motto. Alright. Um, looks pretty good. And this one might be a little bit of a problem, but we'll see. Nope. Not really much of a problem at all. Got a little bit of grass over here. I'm not really sure if there's anything I can do about that. Here, let me see if I can get rid of this. Shoot, it's so close. Alright, this is what we're going to do. Um, oh, so I can't... Hmm. Destroy that. And let's see, we could, see if we could do something with that. So, yeah, it looks like... Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to do anything. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Did you see that? Come on, work with me. I would do this off camera. I know this is probably like just like whatever, but just so you guys could see how I'm doing it for the first time. Uh, when I do it later on, I'll do it off camera. There we go. And it 
Doesn't look like we can do too much more over here. But you know what? I'll work on that off camera. Let's not worry about it right now. It's pretty good. It's not perfect, but I think I could do better with it. But it's good enough for the time being. So I went ahead and finished the resource storage two shed building. Yeah, building, I guess. I can now hold up to 7,000 weight which is awesome. And I did mess around with the floor a little bit more over here to get it as good as I could. Uh, it looks pretty dope to me. I'll probably mess around with it a little bit more off camera, but yeah, this is, um, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I can't wait until I could put down the lights the way I want to. Uh, we have some problems with our buildings. Uh, the well, there's no buckets. That's fine. Herbalist hut. I took the person out of the herbalist hut. Um, I'll probably put someone back there. The herbalist hut's annoying because I have to micromanage it every freaking season. And it's kind of annoying. Um, so I'm going to not bother with that right now. Oh, what's going on with the barn? Okay, so no more oak grain. That's fine. Um, are there any more grains? Uh, we do have rye grain. So let's go ahead and do some rye grain there. And I only have one person uh, working the uh, barn right now. Everyone else is farmers. Because, uh, well, it's spring. And we've got a lot of farming to do, all right? A lot of um, a lot of flax needs to be taken care of. So, all right, that's looking good. All right, so what's next on the edge? Okay, so there's a house up here. I went ahead and looked at my most unhappy people, okay? And they have a house up here that I'm going to put some decorations in, all right? I've not been doing enough decorations with the houses uh, for a couple different reasons. It's not really overly needed, um, but it, it, you do want to make people happy because when they're happy, they'll do they'll get more work done quicker. All right. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some shutters in here. All right. So we're going to look right now. Not that. We're going to look at the. Come on. Why is it only looking at the bed? Huh. Let's go to first person. Hmm. Maybe you got to do this from the outside. Oh, that's right. I got the hammer out. Duh. There we go. All right. So that's a window. And this is the inside part of the window. We'll do that later. Uh, for now, we're going to go on the outside part of the window. And put in some shutters. Now, there's all kinds of shutters, but these two take iron, so I'm not going to be using them. All right. So, there we go. And put some shutters here. And put some shutters here. I love the decorations in this game. This is phenomenal. I didn't see this coming. You know, a lot of times when um, developers make updates to a game, it's like, okay, you know, that's a, that's a good idea. I saw it coming, but it's a good idea. Th this is something I didn't see coming. I love when stuff like this happens. Can I... Up can I open these or yes you can oh my god that's so freaking cool wait can i close it from the inside yeah but it's a little tricky okay fair enough all right so what do i want to do next i think we're going to do something we're going to do stuff with the ceiling next and i think we're going to do with the ceiling is we're going to grab some leather some linen and some sticks and try and get some lights in here Leather, linen, and sticks. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put some lights in this place. See how it goes. Lights are number one, right? Also, you could change the door as well. Check this out. If we can change the look of the door. How cool is that? I don't love the way any of the doors look, though. I, I prefer, like, a, maybe a metal door or something. But, all right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the ceiling. Now, we're going to be doing lights first. And I'm going to want to use the... I'm going to want to put the lights as close to the middle as possible. So, that's... um. That's number two. Where's number two? I want to put the lights like towards the middle. Yeah, so, okay. So I'm thinking three and four would probably be a good place for the lights. Um, That's a light. Is, is it maybe? You know what? I'll bet you it's not until nighttime. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's go ahead. I'm not going to put down any more lights until nighttime because I want to know if they're worth it. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the walls. Uh, we're going to need some logs for that. Yeah, some logs. And I'm thinking also the floor, in which case we're going to just need fur. So fur and logs. These people are going to be so happy when I'm done with their place. Okay, so let's go ahead and put down some rugs. I guess um, I'm not sure where... Here, we'll go, we'll go over here and slot one. All right, so we're going to have to unlock this. Uh, which one looks best? We can unlock any of them except for the bear fur. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure which one looks best. I'm trying to, like, see it in the background as I'm putting it down. Uh, it's not in front of me. There we go. Oh, that's a perfect view. Okay. So, that's not bad. But that's going to get dirty really quickly. 
I kind of like the goat fur one. The wolf one, eh. I mean, the um, the badger one, eh. The wolf one, meh. The boar one's okay. Honestly, I kind of like the goat fur one. Just as far as looks goes. Let's go ahead and put that right down there. And they come in, they wipe off their feet. And let's also put a rack on the wall. I think you could like hang stuff on these racks. Um, decorate. Yeah, I don't know. I I've seen people like, I, I think I saw people put stuff on those racks, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am misremembering. So we got the rack right there, but what do I want to put over here? Mm, I don't really have any of that stuff. Um, shelving unit. You know, I think this is the last thing I'm going to put in their house because I'm trying to get people all above 50%. And like this guy right here, this is the guy that was unhappy and he's obviously getting super happy now, but I want to get all these people above 50%. So I'm not going to go too crazy on any one house, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking at. I feel like the, I feel like the window shutters are like a total necessity. Like that's probably, I want to get that like in every house, honestly, um, because it looks cool from the outside, which is awesome. Uh, and then the next thing I'd probably want to do is uh, I got to work on like linen thread and things of that nature and not sell it all because, you know, because <laughs> I kind of need it, right? Um, where would we like to put a shelving unit? I think a shelving unit right here would go really, really nice. There you go. Double shelf. Okay. You guys should be super duper happy. I know I'm super duper happy. Are you guys watching this super duper happy? If you are happy with this episode, make sure to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Thank you.